All right, this is the Wilton's 3D sit-up teddy bear cake pan. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Um, first of all, what you'll need to do is this one has six clips, but it really needs more. These little clips come off. And... Ugh. It has an inner thing, which I would probably not use, but you can use it and leave this empty so that you can put a filling in your cake after it's cooked. And the first thing you want to do is look in there for any light. See where it's got white there and there? Okay. And so you want to make sure that's fairly tight. Now these will leak. They will leak when they cook, because it cooks upside down, okay? And you put it on a baking sheet and put it about the middle of your oven. You don't want it too close to the top. You don't want it too close to the bottom. And uh, I prefer not to use this part, because it stays together better. And um, now, these clips, you can't get them anymore. This uh, cake pan, when these clips come off, this all comes apart in two pieces. You want to make sure to use uh, butter and flour. Butter and then use flour on it and shake it off. Make sure that everything is coated really well on the pans inside so that it won't stick. And then as far as clips, you can use boat trailer hitch clips, paper clips. Um... You can use, uh, like, invoice clips, so they look kind of like this, a paper clip. There's some other clips that are even stronger that are wiry, and then you can use the little tiny clips, or you can use, like, an invoice clip that looks like something off a clipboard or something, and you can go to several places to get these. Um, you can go to Walmart in the auto department and get the hitch clips. You can go to Walmart and get paper clips. The heaviest paper clips, you know, that have spring to them, if, if they have at all. That's what you really want. If you don't want anything plastic coated, stay away from magnets and plastic coating. Um, if they are plastic coated, you know, those ones that are pink and blue and all that, then you want to bake that off or scrape it off um, and make sure they're totally clean. They don't touch the food, so that's the good thing. Um, but you don't want to bake plastic in an oven or burn plastic in an oven because it's really damaging to an unborn child and it's, it's just basically poisonous to people in the air to breathe. So you want to try to make sure it doesn't have any of that plastic rubber coating, uh, in the colors, um, or you're going to have to take it off. Um, and... It can be easily done with a barbecue uh, thing and holding the clip with uh, needle nose pliers. And you can wrap a towel around the handle to, in case there's a lot of heat transfer. And then just, you know, fire the plastic off. Um, or put them on a barbecue and a thing of tin foil and let it bake off. Um, you can go to a hardware store. Um, like Lowe's or something, or a local hardware store. You can go to Auto Parts House and see what they have in metal clips. Harbor Freight has clips of all sorts. Uh, Walmart, you can go to Art Supply like Michael's or Joann's or something. But these clips, they don't make them anymore. You can go to a gourmet cooking supply, possibly a restaurant supply, and see if they've got some metal clips. Um... And you can take this and bend these around using a needle nose plier. And th this with the tilt to it, it is really nice because it really makes it grab together well. Um, the ideal thing, honestly, is I would take this and drill holes about every inch and a half and put nuts and bolts in there. Just some nice stainless steel nuts and bolts from Lowe's. And then just screw it together. 
and then that way when it's totally cool you can undo it um make sure that you're ready to bake it when you put it in the oven um oh also these are about 30 dollars if you catch it used you can get a pretty good deal uh as you can see it's pretty big um and it's super cute but you just have to be really careful the way you do it because it will destroy it if you do it wrong. I saw a YouTube video today with a lady that actually filled this up and then went to put it in after and was like, why did you even bother? And so you had to bend it all to hell because she put it in there. And the best way to do it if you're going to use this is just put it like this. You know, and it may push it out a little bit, but... Um, you can turn it, put it in the locks mode, but the problem is twisting it out of the cake, even though you coat this with butter and flour, I would just say not use this part, because the hole is just to, to fill it with frosting or filling, you know, if you want to put jam in there or something fun in there or cream, but you need it to be solid as possible, um, because it can crack, especially when it's sitting up and you're de decorating it, you really don't want it to crack. Um, otherwise, you have to make three cake pans full of stuff and then carve it out. and That's a pain in the butt. So, uh, the best thing to do is make sure you have your, your mix ready. Use pudding in it and um, uh, some oil or butter. Um, and uh, use less uh, eggs so it's not as cakey. Um, you don't want it ultra cakey. You want it thicker um, so that it doesn't run out of the thing. Because what will happen is you'll have little puddles that will be burning on the pan as they've dripped out. The, and as soon as the oven is preheated, you should be ready to pour that cake mix into, it goes in through here, into the top, and load it in the oven right away. Everything should be ready. You should have your rack placed properly in the oven. And, and uh, you should have um, the oven ready to cook right now uh, and your mix ready. Pour it in and get it in the oven. You don't want it to sit around and wait and all that because it'll start dripping. The quicker it cooks, the more it turns into that sponge effect and it's harder to get out of the cracks. But yeah, they're going to leak. It's going to leak. So don't be scared. It'll be fine. And then uh, what you want to do is as soon as it's cooked, let it cool on a rack, like sitting on top of this or something, uh, on a little cake rack or something, and let it cool for about, oh, about an hour. Then take it and put it in the fridge or the freezer and leave it in there for um, an hour or two. Then you'll take the clips off real carefully, don't bang it around a lot. And, um, and then what you'll do is you'll lay it down and tap it out with a plastic spoon or spatula and tap around here gently. And then you can take a knife very carefully and slip in here or pull it from here gently and, and then turn it over and then do the other side to see if that comes loose easily. Tap it around and, um, and very slowly take those pans off. And then you have to very carefully stand it up. You want it really cool because a hot cake will always self-destruct if you start fooling with it. Okay? It's just like cutting brownies up and they're not they're not cool. They just start breaking all up. So you want to make sure it's totally cool. That way it'll contract a little bit and um, come away from this pan and it will be a little more solid when you go to work with it, especially when you go to frost it because... It needs to be cool when you're frosting it, or the frosting will melt off. Because remember, this is a vertical 3D animal, and the stuff's going to slide off if it's hot. Because when it hits the hot cake, it will slide, so it's got to be cool. So, uh, that's the best way to do it. And then after you frost it, go ahead and put it back in the fridge or the freezer until you're ready to transport it. And then the best way is to put it in the floor of the car in a pan and um, uh, try to keep it covered with some plastic or something to keep the dirt out of it and drive carefully or have somebody hold it for you 
um, in the other seat so it doesn't get damaged. But it's a great thing. Um, like I say, you can get them for about $30 and uh, without shipping. Or if you're real lucky, you might find one at a secondhand store. Um, there's some people who are selling them online and they're extremely expensive. This one is, has been up a little bit. I got this one used and it's been up a little bit. I only paid like $5 for it. Um, but it's a Wilton, which is, they're terrible expensive Wilton products. But you can see it's been bent around either by a child playing with it or somebody that was sticking a knife in it and bending it around or something. Um, so, because all that stuff will leak. But, uh, that's the best thing to do. There is a lady that, that she says that the best thing to use is a pound cake mix. And then a regular cake mix, um, she thinks it's a lot sturdier. Um, so, I don't know. Pound cake is just so dense. I just don't know. But, um, I mean, I suppose you could do that. It might be better just make a whole thing out of pound cake. But, like I say, you want to use less egg. You don't want it cakey when you're making your cake mix. Um, because it needs to be more solid and more dense to stay in your um, form. So, you know, just some cake mix. You can get this at Dollar Tree for like a dollar. Or go to Walmart. I think it's like 69 cents a box for some cheapest cake mix. But, you know, on the back it'll say, if you want a cake or you use more eggs or whatever. I would use two eggs instead of three. Um, that one says to use three. But I would definitely use two eggs and then uh, use a small box of, um, this flavor is vanilla. So I would use a small box of a vanilla pudding, instant pudding, or regular pudding, either one. And, and pour that in there while you're mixing it up. Um, and that will help give it a, a thicker consistency. And um, it'll be really tasting good. But, uh, you know, you can see next to this coffee cup how big this really is. It's really quite big. There's also one that's about cupcake size. And if you try to order one online, you might end up with that cupcake size. So you need to pay attention. This is the full-size 3D cake. So, it's really interesting how they made that, but I'm going to tell you it's going to leak. But if you get a bunch of clips and put them all around, you know, you have a better chance of less leakage. But, um, you know, as long as you've got that cake mix in there and you're sticking it in the oven right then, then you've got a better chance of less leakage because it's cooking right away. So, um... Or even neat if they had to put that in a microwavable form because it would cook up really super nice. But other than that, um, I hope you enjoy. And that's all about the Wilton 3D cake pans. And uh, uh, when you go to decorate it, you can use, um, some people like to use a star tip, but unless you have an extreme amount of patience, I wouldn't do that uh, <laughs> at all. Do your dark colors last and do your light colors um, first. Uh, but uh, use um, the hairy tip, the one that, that squirts out a lot of the little strings. You can use that to make the teddy bear hair. And that's a lot easier then using the star tip all over that whole creature. Um, and you can also use uh, like a Russian tip. And you can buy those at Hobby Lobby. Um, and Joanne Fabrics, I think, has those two in the Wilton cooking section. Um, and uh, those Russian cake tips. Now, maybe Walmart might have them too. They're just really big cake icing tips. Um, you want to use the, the homemade icing like a buttercream icing um and that way you can adjust it with the powdered sugar to make it strong enough so it won't fall um you just adjust it by teaspoons of additional powdered sugar uh so you want it and you got to refrigerate it too because you don't want it melting while you're working on it and use the ones that have all the little tiny holes in it they're big tips and then you can shoot it off of the bear and it looks like here it's really cool and um, you can make it long hair, short hair, whatever. 
Um, but that would be the best way to go. And a lot quicker for most of the beer. Or just frost it flat. You can do that too. But it's an adorable little thing. It's super neat for kids. A kid's birthday party or kid's celebration. It is really the cutest thing. So, um, you know, you could do a teddy bear wedding. I just want to be your teddy bear and do a teddy bear wedding. Like teddy bear cakes. Um, but it's super neat. Uh, you can do it for anniversary. I just want to be your teddy bear. Um, and you can do different things. You can put decorations around them. You can go to Dollar Tree and buy kids toy decorations and stuff. And um, you can stick a little hat on the top of him when he's done. Or, or a Hawaiian lei or a necklace. Um, you know, a, a cute little thing. You don't want to put little tiny stuff in that. Because, you know, a small child might eat it and choke on it or something. But um, you can put some cool other effects around the outside uh, that are real cute. So, I hope you enjoy, uh, and I hope you have a really great day, and I hope you learned a lot in this vlog. Talk to you later. Have a great one.